Hey, it's Tom Zeeb with Traction Real Estate Investors Association. Really excited to introduce our January 2023 speaker to you. It's Andy Heller. Now, I brought Andy in for a very specific reason, because if you haven't noticed, things are changing, right? They're changing big, <laughs> they're changing big time. It's all over the map. We've been through the ring of the last couple of years. I think we all sense that. And so what is coming out the other side? And is going to hit in 2023? That's a question on everyone's mind. And there's no one that I think has answered this question better than Andy Heller. So, hey, Andy, thanks for joining us. Tom, it's always a pleasure to, to come back with you guys. So tell us, what's, um, what's going to be shaken in 2023? What do we need to know? And what are you going to be talking about when you're at Traction Rear? Great. Well, let me talk, start with the second question first and then the first question. So, ladies and gentlemen, my topic um, I actually have, I have two topics and we combine them into uh, this has been we, we utilize both in our investing strategy and uh, my humble and totally biased opinion. They're the two most important topics for any real estate investor. Um, the first is REOs, bank owned property. All right. I am the leading expert. I've been buying REOs since 1990. And let me just say flat out, I'm not coming to DC, to Florida, to teach you how to buy REOs on MLS. No, um, there is a window of time after the foreclosure sale and before properties pop up on, ML on MLS. Okay, that window in most states is two to five months. That's the window where we're going to teach you how to buy REOs. And I'm talking buying properties 15, 20, 25% less than other ways to buy property below market. And look, when times are tough, it's uh, interesting because what's bad for the economy tends to be good for real estate investors, okay? Now, I travel all over the country, you know me, Tom, and one of the things I see a lot is uh, in, uh, investors who um, just a little bit unrealistic sometimes. Well, I, I don't really want to own property. I just want to buy and flip. Well, that, that's great. But sometimes when the best deals are out there, it also means that there's not as many buyers out there. So you can't just be a buy and flipper. So on the back end, we market our REOs for sale or lease option. Now we do flip plenty of properties, but when we don't flip them, we roll them into a lease option and it's a very unique type of lease option. We call it the rent smart lease option. And you can get a premium rent. You defer maintenance and, and, and repair responsibility to the tenant. And the best part is that the sales in the future, guys. So that allows the investor to realize the gain that comes after a market has reset. So um, my topics are REOs and lease options. And even if you're a wholesaler, I will talk about wholesale and REOs. And to the sec first question, Tom, why is now important? Well, to, you know, it's really exciting time and also a bit of a scary time. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that literally every 10 years, I can say this now because I'm not that 30-something-year-old guy you met years ago, Tom. I just turned 60. And I've been investing since 1990. And almost like clockwork, guys, every eight to 12 years, there's a reset in the real estate market. 1990s, right? The savings and loan fiasco. 2000, there was the dot-com bubble burst. 08, we had the Great Recession. And after these reset periods, there's an opportunity of one, two, or three years where you can buy property at exceptionally large discounts. Okay. And when that happens, most of the deals are REOs, bank-owned property. So we are likely headed towards some level of reset. And that's what makes the timing of my visit in January so strategic, everybody. And why Tom asked me to come back to Traction is because we are seeing where the real estate market is going. And it completely aligns with my topic. And again, I'm a, I've been buying property for now 32 years. I don't believe there's ever really a bad time to buy if you're buying the right types of properties and you have a good strategy. But there are optimal times to buy. And we're likely headed towards one of those periods right now, which is why I'm so excited to come to, uh, to DC. So we're heading into an optimal time to buy that also I want to tack back to something you said earlier about 
a reset. So it's an optimal time to buy because as we come in and properties reset in value, you've got the place rented out on a lease option. But yet, since you still own it, you're the one that's going to recognize the appreciation once the reset occurs. Am I describe? Is that the gist of what you said? Yeah, I'm not going to come to DC now. I'm just going to put you on stage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. If you, Andy, if you, yeah, you made it clear to understand, so that's good. Yes, and and that's that's the beauty about it. And on on the lease option, the way we do it, guys, there's four different types of outcomes. I'll cover each one. And again, we flip a lot of properties, and that helps create cash that will fuel into buying more properties. But the difference between us and like a wholesaler or a buy and flipper is we don't have to flip and we're not going to discount our margins. We're not going to lower our profits if an immediate buyer doesn't walk in the door. And one of my teasers I'll leave you guys with is in the afternoon of the Saturday workshop, I'm going to cover how we use the lease option to help us flip more properties. And that's really important in down cycles because we all need more cash to fuel our buy-in. So where's the cash gonna come from? Well, if we can show you how to flip a higher percentage of properties than most investors that are buying, you're gonna have more cash to buy more properties. It's like a funnel. Got you. So this basically build the funnel now, set it up for the future, and no matter what's coming down the pike, because you know, there's, I mean, there's an unknown there that I think has a lot of people worried. But set the funnel up, bring things through it. No matter what winds up happening, you'll come out safe on the other end because you've got your your idea and, and your theory is is backstopping any kind of um, downside risk to us as investors. Yeah, and let me take what you just said and put it in 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 a context or put it on a timeline that all of your. Um, RIA members and guests will be able to align with. I mean, even if you're young, you've read about the Great Recession, all right? We all know how scary a time that was. And we also know, and I'm not going to pretend to come to D.C. and say, I know exactly what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, and how bad things are going to get. Because if that was the case, I would be on Wall Street right now. Uh, <laughs> so that's not the case. So nobody knows that, everybody. But there are certain patterns and there are certain uh, commonalities between real estate markets that you do notice once you've been investing for your fourth decade. And here's how I would present this. So we've been buying property since 1990. All right. There are some years we'd buy two or three. There are some years we buy a dozen or more. All right. And if there is one regret, and I've had tremendous success, is that I didn't recognize resets while they were happening, and I wasn't as prepared for them, simply because I had not been investing long enough to understand what was happening. So one of the things we'll be talking about, which is really interesting, and this really is, is some, something an investor should be considering, no matter what your model is, and is buying strategically, not consistently. So I've been buying consistently. What do I mean by buying strategically? Well, in 07, let's pretend we're going back to 07 like you had a crystal ball. You knew the market was going to reset in 08, and you knew on the tail end of that, there's going to be a one, two, or three-year opportunity to buy properties at generational discounts. So what that means is in 07, you just you get ready. You get your contacts to which banks you can approach, all right, which agents market bank-owned properties. I'm going to have my fundings lined up so I can buy a higher amount of properties in a shorter period of time. Boop, the bubble burst on 08. We land in 09. Maybe the best time to buy begins in 2010. And instead of buying four or five properties a year, you buy 30. Gotcha. But you only but you buy a lot of 30 a year for three years, and then you park it in 2012. Okay, then all of a sudden, what you've done. You've acquired a high volume of properties when discounts were at generational levels. And you're and you got these properties while the market begins to go up. That's how you make crazy amounts of money. And frankly, that's what rich people do. <laughs> that's what they do. You know? <laughs> and so that's why the timing of this discussion in January is so interesting, guys. 
we're we're seeing and I don't know if it's going to look exactly like it did in 08 it could be quite gradual but clearly real estate values are going down okay the real estate market is resetting so this is the perfect time to look at well how am I going to position myself if the market the values fall another 10 20 40 percent in some markets to be able to buy dozens of properties during this window well, they're and, on sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, basically, I'm coming to DC to say there's a sale coming, all right, at your favorite department store. Um, and we're going to go through with our shopping cart and buy some real, real property, all right? And then we're going to walk out of that store and go down the street and get ready and sell that 10, 20, 30, 40% more as the market goes up. How we do that and the timing is why Tom uh has asked me to come back to speak and that's what you're going to be walking people through not just recognizing the opportunity and understanding the, the dynamics of that reset and why this why this occurs but how to best take advantage of it and how i don't want people to freak out going he wants me to buy 30 properties a year 30 properties is a lot like it could be one property could be three properties could be 30 i think andy what you're going to be teaching people is how how to do that no matter at what scale you want to do it at do it at the uh, scale uh, yeah, because I, it's I, not going to take an enormous amount of funding if you're putting people in there and uh, on lease options. I, I couldn't have said it better. My my job, what I'm coming to town to do, is to show you how our model works, how to buy bank-owned properties before 99% of other investors even realize they're available, how to flip a bunch, and those that you can't flip, how to roll them on the lease option. My job is to show you how that works. Okay, how you can do this in your respective community is up to you to decide. Okay, this is great, Andy. I'm in a position I want to try to buy three or four. I want to try to buy three or four hundred. That's your decision. All right. Um, but recognizing the fact that, that we're cut, we're heading into a tremendous opportunity to do this, to be able to buy these properties at discounts that are simply not available during other years. That's really important to understand. Got gotcha. you. That is exciting. That's beautiful. That is perfectly timed. So it is. Andy, I'm looking forward to your events. Uh, we will, there's, there's links all over this page. Uh, we'll be emailing you specifics to uh, sign up. I get registered early. Our Saturday events do tend to fill up. So let's make sure you don't get left out. Grab your ticket now when uh, you can. And, uh, Looking, looking forward to seeing you in a few weeks. Tom, can't wait. And uh, everybody, I look forward to meeting you. And our, one last thing I'll say, in the Saturday workshop, I allow about a couple hours during the entire day for questions. So it's very, very, uh, um, it's, a, it's a great learning experience. I show you how our model works because we we have the whole day together. It's enjoyable. It's interesting and lucrative. Oh, fantastic. So yeah, folks, you're not going to be not going to be talked at for hours and hours. It's an interactive question yes. and answers. And you, Andy's a, a wealth of knowledge and particularly good at answering questions. So <laughs> ask away and he'll answer away and well, we'll get you set for 23 and beyond. Thank you, Tom. Awesome. Thanks, Andy.